The sun is a star at the center of the solar system. It is the closest star to the Earth. The sun is very hot. Its warmth and light keeps planets and animals on Earth alive. The sun gives us heat and also visible light so that we can see. There is also ultraviolet light that we can't see, but it can burn our skin. The blast from the surface of the sun is called a solar flare. Aurora, or northern lights, are actually caused by particles from the solar wind. When the blast from the sun happens, the particles mix with gases in the Earth's atmosphere and these gases glow. During the day, the place where you see the sun changes. In the morning, the sun comes up. This is called sunrise. By lunchtime, the sun is high up in the sky. In the late afternoon, the sun is low in the sky, and soon it is sunset. When the sun disappears, it is nighttime again. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. Asteroids and comets often hit this planet. Mercury orbits the sun faster than any other planet. Mercury is very small. It is just a little bigger than the Earth's moon. Scientists sent their first spaceship called Messenger to Mercury in 2011. It takes about five months for a spaceship to go to Mercury. Venus is the hottest and brightest planet in our solar system. It is so bright you can see it in the sky. One day on Venus is much longer than one day on Earth because it spins more slowly. Venus spins in the opposite direction to that of the Earth spin. Most of Venus is covered with very hot rocks that are formed from lava from volcanoes. A spaceship called Magellan was sent to Venus. It takes about four months for a spaceship to get to Venus. Earth is a special planet. It has oxygen and water. This is the only planet we know that has life. Plants, animals, and people live on Earth. Earth's atmosphere is very important. It protects our planet from many things, like sun's strong rays and meteors, too. It takes 365 days for the Earth to complete one full round around the sun, known as one year. Have you ever wondered why we have different seasons? It is because the Earth is tilted, and this affects the amount of daylight each part of the Earth gets, and this makes the temperature hot or cold. The Earth has gravity. When you jump up from the ground, gravity is what pulls you back down, or else we will be floating off into space. Mars is known as the Red Planet. Mars has lots of iron in the rocks on its surface. Iron turns red when it rusts. 
Mars has two small moons called Phobos and Deimos that are shaped like potatoes. Lots of spaceships have traveled to Mars and have taken pictures of the surface of Mars. It takes about eight months for a spaceship to get to Mars. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It is so big that all the other planets can fit inside it. Jupiter spins very fast. That is why it looks like it has stripes around it. It also has a great red spot. This spot is a huge hurricane-like storm. Jupiter has around 63 moons and its biggest moons are Europa, Callisto, Io, and Ganymede. A spacecraft named Galileo sent a lander to Jupiter and measured its temperatures and other things. But it was destroyed by storms. Another spacecraft named Juno was sent to Jupiter in 2016. It sends information back to scientists on Earth. It takes about 13 months for a spaceship to get to Jupiter. Saturn has beautiful bright rings around it. The rings are made up of billions of different sizes of icy rocks. Saturn has around 53 moons. Some of the moons are named Titan, Rhea, Iapetus, Dione, and Tethys. A spacecraft named Huygens landed on Saturn's biggest moon, Titan. It takes about four years for a spaceship to get to Saturn. Uranus is the only planet that spins on its side. Uranus is surrounded by a set of 13 rings and it is the coldest planet of the big eight planets. Uranus has about 27 known moons. The major moons are Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon. A spacecraft named Voyager 2 is the only one that came near Uranus, and then it traveled further into space. It takes about eight years for a spaceship to get to Uranus. Neptune is the eighth and furthest planet from the sun, and it has the strongest winds in the solar system. Neptune has gravity almost like the gravity of the Earth. Neptune also has a big storm spot just like Jupiter. This spot is called the Great Dark Spot. Neptune has about 14 moons. Some of them are Triton, Nereid, and Proteus. After Voyager 2 flew nearby Uranus, it also headed towards Neptune and discovered more moons. It takes about 12 years for a spaceship to get to Neptune. Dwarf means small. Scientists have discovered five dwarf planets. Let's learn about them. Ceres is a dwarf planet that has mysterious bright spots. It is located near the asteroid belt. 
Pluto used to be called a planet when your parents were young or in school. But since 2006, Pluto has been considered a dwarf planet. Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt. Haumea looks like a potato and is located in the Kuiper Belt just like Pluto. This is the fastest rotating object in our solar system. Makemake is smaller than Pluto and is the second brightest object in the Kuiper Belt. Eris is the biggest dwarf planet. It is located beyond the Kuiper Belt in a place known as the Scattered Disk.